back with planter options to bring the outdoors inside. Yes. Well, you know how I love stats. Yes. I have a good Give one for stats. you. Number one hobby for 2019 was? I don't know, what was it? Gardening. Oh, Yay. Okay. so that's good for your business. Absolutely. Very but good. What was really interesting for me in the whole stat thing was we had six million people list gardening yeah. as trying it for the first time. Ooh. And of the six million, yeah. five million of them were millennials. That's amazing. Which is incredible. That's I'm like, amazing. all these young people are gardening and they don't own houses. Yes. <laughs> so guess where they're gardening? <laughs> so they're gardening inside. Inside, on absolutely, right? absolutely. So what Excellent. we're starting to see is a huge push again for condo sized gardening. Yes. Smaller, 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 and ways to maximize space. Okay. So today we're going to talk a little bit about ways to use hanging planters mm -hmm. because hanging planters by far and large were the number one thing this year they for my were, little store. Huh? Absolutely. And I love this one. So you lift it I. up. This is handmade. Anything handmade that is unique, That's so beautiful. absolutely huge. I just could not keep them in stock. And they're great because they take up no space at all. In fact, That's I'm going right. to hang this one up here. And done, you can have it in front of a window, you can have it anywhere, but That's you can lovely. put a plant in a 350 square foot apartment and yay, yes. you've got room for one. And you know what, you can do, I would do multiples of that and right? it's just beautiful. It's a small little statement, but multiplied, I think it's got some really big impact. Make it super cute. And yeah. I love the direction people are going with this. Me too. But I do have some watch outs. Okay, okay? watch so out. So watch out. So I love this one. This is done with succulents. Absolutely simple. That's gorgeous. This planter was $20. Yeah. Yeah. There's about eleven dollars in plants in there. Okay. So it's not it doesn't have to be super expensive. Yeah. You do not have to spend a lot of money. I've been seeing a lot of the planters coming out mm -hmm. eighty, ninety, hundred dollars plus. And I'm mm. like, that's crazy because really you want to be focusing on the plants. That's right. Planters are beautiful. Yeah. Plants are the important part. Okay. okay. Some other watch outs. I'm just gonna hang this here. Some other watch outs. A lot that's of the pergola. pretty hanging pots mm -hmm. like this one, gorgeous color. Yes. I'm gonna flip it over. There's no hole in the bottom of these. So that's a problem, isn't that's it? That's a problem for drainage. Now, yeah. I understand when it's a hanging pot, you don't necessarily want water pouring out of the planter and onto the floor. Right. But when we're talking about plants, majority of plants need drainage. They can't sit in water. So if you're going to go with a pot like this or a planter like this, there's a couple of ways around it. Okay. You can pick a plant that doesn't mind it, like an ivy. Does great, can sit in water, can sit completely dried out, okay. happy little plant. If you're living on the west coast though, mm -hmm. ivy is a problem. It's become very invasive. People have been putting it outside. Oh. So be aware of the plants that you're putting in this. Okay. The other option that you can do is you can Put take it in a, in a pot, a pot the in the planter yeah. and because it's hanging, who's going to know, right? right? Absolutely, you can hide it and cheat it a little bit and then you're still getting away with something pretty in the planter, okay. but you know, it's not causing the same amount of problem and you can drain the water out when you need to. Nice. Okay? Another thing you need to be aware of with these types of planters. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to set this down. This one, inside you see all the little knots. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cute little planter. Some of the audience was already talking about it. I love the bicycles. It's, it's so, so cute. cute. Okay. I've had problems with this type of planter because people put planter oil up too high. Oh. So what happens is every time you're watering, these little knots are getting wet and they start to rot. Yeah. Within five months of putting soil in a plant in this, the ropes rotted and they snapped. Ooh. And down came the planter. Oh, okay. So if you're going to go with a planter that has string holding it versus a chain, mm -hmm. make sure the soil is significantly below the height of the rope yeah. so that this is not getting wet and rotting out on you. Good warning. Okay. Simple mm -hmm. one. All right, That's let's talk good. a little bit about walls. Yes. I'm loving so the, use wall the wall planters. Yeah, Absolutely. Your space. Yeah, and here's a couple of great examples. I'm going to show everybody these ones. This is all from the same co company called Wally Grow. Okay. Okay. So the first one is the bucket. Yes. I love the bucket because it's easy. Looks kind of just like that, not mm -hmm. very complicated. I'm going to take this little piece out though because this is magic. Okay. So this little piece flips back over, goes back inside. What happens now inside the bucket is you have a watering pocket. Okay. So the water only goes in here. Yeah. So it's not spilling all over the floor or making a mess. You just put water in there. It gradually seeps into the soil below. Plants are happy. Oh. Everything's good. If you are not very good at growing succulents or sedums, yeah. this thing is amazing. Because look at that. That's there's incredible. an aloe in there. There's succulents. There's sedums. All I've done is continue to put water in the back and let it do its thing. I don't worry about it. They're yep. not rotting. I've got little plant babies. Do you know how often you need to water it? Like, how do you? Do you I just check the back, and if there's water in it, we're good. Walk okay. away. And if there it. isn't, meh. So yeah. it doesn't even have to be intuitive. Just look. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So simple. What I also love about these planters is how they hang on the wall. And I'm just going to do that right here. And I lost my screw. So there's a little clip that's like that. Okay. Just a simple little clip. 
and it mounts onto the wall. I'm going to put it over here. Just mounts onto the wall just like that with a screw. Yep. Okay. And I'm going to reach behind you and I'm just going to show you with one of these. That's all it is. Okay, and you just so it's click. just that little hook right there. Yeah. Put it anywhere that you can put a uh, screw in. It can go into drywall as long as it's got a plug nice. because the way it bounces is just like artwork. Yeah, so and it it's actually, not that heavy, is it? That one's heavy because I just watered it. Oh, this it. one's a little heavy. Okay. <laughs> that one's heavy. That's okay. heavy. All right, so I've got time for one more. I want to show you one more because I really like these. I like them They're too. They're simple, but there's one thing you need to be aware of with hanging things on the wall. Yeah. And that's if moisture gets in behind, it will rot the drywall. It will cause problems. Mm -hmm. That's why this little guy is so amazing. Inside of here is actually rubber lining. Ah, yeah, so, so it's, it's made for this. It's breathable in the front, mm -hmm. rubber lining in the back to stop water from going onto the wall, which is huge because if you're gonna do a beautiful display, mm -hmm. and this one can actually be quite stunning, as you can see right here, Yeah, you can have plants by the kitchen window, near any humidity, in the bathroom, on a wall instead of art, and look at how gorgeous That's that is. beautiful. Simple. It's a living, breathing thing. Yes. And it's so nice because it's out of the way, but it's in your sight line. So I think that's lovely. It takes up no space. Yeah. Well, let's hope the trend continues for 2020. I agree. Right? Gardening, gardening, gardening.